Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to look at the tools needed to start working with the PIC24 and the SPIC33 microcontrollers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install the MPLAB XIDE. I'll put that link um, in the video description below. You'll want to install the latest version of the IDE. However, for the compiler, you're going to want to choose version 1.70 because from version to onwards some of the DSP instructions and software had working won't work in with the 2.0 version of the compiler so you want to use version 1.70 now once you have those installed you're going to want to go to tools within MPLAB XID you're going to want to go to packs and you're going to want to want to go in this little search in this search box here you're going to want to type pick 24 and in our case we are using the pick 24 fga and gab device family pack you're going to click install and you're going to wait for that pack to install now in case your pack installation is unsuccessful you can go to the microchip pack repository and microchip also provides instructions for it to install these packs manually so i'll link that in the video description so that's an option you can take once you're finished with that, you're going to want to go to File, you're going to want to go to New Project, Microchip Embedded, Standalone Project, and you're going to want to select the device that we'll be using. Select your device. Now if you see a warning on the bottom here that you don't have the device family pack installed, you need to install the pack but I must warn you when you try to install the pack from this menu that turns up here it doesn't always work so use the method I showed you click next we select the compiler and we'll start we'll name this project 01 test and we click finish so when you finish create our project you won't see any source files you won't see anything what you can do is you can click the MCC you're going to want to select MCC classic now there are a lot of device libraries here We'll take the SDMMC, we'll take the 16 bit bootloader, press finish and just wait. Now, once everything is finished building, with a TQFP44 package, you'll see in the corner here, you'll see your chip showing up, right, with all its pinouts and stuff. You're going to want to click the system module, right, this is set up your clock settings. Now in our case, we'll be using, yes, we'll be using the FRC oscillator, we'll be enabling the PLL, one-to-one -one prescaler, so with these settings, we'll get, um, you know, our FYC has 32 megs, FYC over 2 has 16, and you have our 48 megs USB clock setup. We'll leave our watchdog timer disabled. To ensure that everything works, click Generate. Let's see here. You see this Generate button. You want to click Generate. Once Generate has worked properly, you can click Clean and Build. And your build was successful. So this just proves that your device packs are set up. MCC is working properly. If you have any problems with the any of the tools then you'll see an error and based on that error be able to troubleshoot if you have any errors comment below and i'll try to assist you with it so thanks for watching guys in the next video we'll be looking at input and output to this device